All right, everybody, here we go. Driving on the right-hand side of the car. First time in a while. First time in a manual in a bit. Let's see how this goes. What I love is right here on the window, they actually have a great big sticker which says drive on the left. And to be honest, I'm actually glad they do have that <laughs> because uh, I totally, my instinct, right, what I'm used to is to drive on the right. So off we go. We are in 100 yards. Turn right onto Reagan Road, A240. Back to driving in the United Kingdom on the left hand side of the road. All right. Turn right onto Reagan Road, A240. All right, we are going. Continue on Reagan Road for one and a half miles. All right, official. We're driving. Woo, left hand, or on the left, right side of the car, left of the road, if that makes sense. Hey everyone, Joy and Sarah. Today we are in the south of London. Yes, we made it over here to Flo's Pie and Mash. So now you're probably wondering what pie, mash, and liquor is. Well, I was too. Turns out liquor is not alcohol. Turns out pie is a pie, like a puff pastry kind of pie and turns out mash is mashed potatoes so pie mash and liquor so very very kind of traditional i guess we'll say like south london english food uh, so yeah anyway that's pretty much what the food is uh very very british guys so happy to kind of you know try something new so now they do have the challenge this is a five pie challenge that's literally the name of the five pie challenge which is a 16 pound meal uh that is the price it is price of 16 pounds featuring five of their signature pies which i guess are some kind of a meat in a pastry i'll give you the exact details then it's served with mashed potatoes and liquor which I guess has parsley in it. We'll find out any details we can. But uh, if that, let's head it in, have some fun, eat some food. Uh, we do have to beat the record. I believe it's seven minutes and 55 seconds in order to get the pies for free. And if not, we're paying for the meal. And apparently if you beat it in 20 minutes, you get a t-shirt and a uh, limited or like what, like endless fame. If you don't beat it in under the time, then you still pay the 16 pounds. But nonetheless, guys, it's about to find these food. Let's get rocking. Real quick, one thanks to sponsor today's video being Raycon and tell you a little bit about my everyday earbud. So with a very suited name, the everyday earbuds literally are my everyday earbud. Not only do they have noise isolating capabilities and a 32 hour battery, but it also really provides some great quality surround sound. They are incredibly small and compact. They're also very, very, very comfortable. They're also water resistant and they just stay in my ears like nothing, whether I'm exercising, it's mainly when I wear them, or on an airplane, walking around, they never fall out of my ears. And they even have an awareness mode, so you never have to like take your headphones out if you wanna to talk to somebody or you're having a conversation, you just press them and you're good to go. The design of both the buds and the casing is all super impressive. It will also charge wirelessly. Not to mention how affordable these are. The quality of sound you get for like the cost to quality ratio is mind blowing. But Raycon also stands out besides their quality premium audio products. They also provide different Raycon home products and power tech products like their Magic 180 charging cable and their new faucet filter. But with the holidays coming up and if you need a good gift, hey, I have a good answer. So this holiday season, get premium sound at a great price and save even more doing it. Go to buyraycon.com slash Joel to get 15% off site wide. They even have free returns and free shipping. So like I said, get yourself some premium audio and get 15% off today. So it's minced beef? Uh, yeah, steak, yeah. Okay, minced beef. okay, nice. minced beef. And now it's like, so the, the, the mash, which is mashed potatoes. Yeah, the pies, mashed mash. potato, yeah. Cool. And, and then you'll get your uh, liquor. And what else is in the pies? Just that. There's just, no... Um, just beef? Yeah, there's no... Yeah, it's just that because it's quite a... When they're cooked, they're quite... They're not dry. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes you can think they'd be dry, but they're not... Right. They, it's just steak minced. Yep, there you go. Cool. So steak minced liquor, which is not alcohol, but parsley sauce. <laughs> yeah, and fun. mashed potatoes. Yep. Cool. Pie, mash, and liquor.
everybody. So here with the five pie challenge. So literally an item we just kind of really confirmed and learned what it was. So apparently you cannot get more traditionally kind of English, British than this dish right here. So what it is exactly is these are, they call them mince steaks, so mince meat pies. We have five of them covered in a liquor, which is nothing to do with alcohol. It's actually a parsley sauce. So I guess it's parsley, fish sauce, a uh, apparently secret ingredient, which if they tell me, they'd have to kill me, and uh, kind of some flour, some water, all that other stuff. It is actually two different types of pastry in this, which is really unique. So it's a puff pastry on top, and then the bottom is like a different kind of pastry, and then the mashed potatoes, which are fully buttered English style mashed potatoes. Um, so the record actually is three minutes and 37 seconds. I thought it was seven minutes 55, that's what we saw on Instagram. Um, so yeah, this is gonna have to be really quick if we wanna beat that record. Um, but at that everybody, should be fun. So I'm definitely excited. And uh, yeah, so 16 pounds for this meal right here. So definitely my first time ever having pie mash and liquor. Apparently hot sauce, you know, you might have heard it, is a thing on pie, so I want to try it. But English mustard has never been done before, so how do you make the most traditional English food? Uh, I think, you know, a little more English. Maybe we'll try a little English mustard, you know, I'm all about that life. And they explicitly said, don't finish the parsley sauce, not necessary. So I'm going to grab a little dab of my mustard here. Tell you what, I got this propped up a little bit. I'm going to put this back down. I'm trying to show you guys what we have going on. Maybe I'll put it sideways like this and uh, try not to make any more mess. They already said that I'm never coming back because I made a mess. So uh, that being said, the staff here is super friendly. Really appreciate that, the hospitality. But uh, let me get a dab of mustard right here. And um, let's get started here in just a moment. Can I just, before I start, can I just look in what, in what the pie looks like inside? Uh, okay, well hey, let me let me just I just want to show everybody here on camera what a true pie looks like. So inside pastry and there is our minced steak. Looks like uh looks like ground beef. Ground beef. Yeah! It smells like ground beef, I guess that essentially is minced steak. So it's like a ground beef pie in a pastry. Hey, I'm aware of that. Sounds good to me. So uh that being said, about to get a rocking and a rolling. The pastries look really nice. They're uh, definitely not, let's say, dry by any means, especially with all that liquor and a very, very moist inside. Oh, and then a big thing actually is this uh, chili vinegar, which I guess is just vinegar with chili. So let's try that. Apparently they said put it all over everything. Apparently it's a very good thing. And it might be really spicy, so I may regret that in a sec, but I am ready to rock and roll. Did you say, um, did you say you, I, I, I can time or do you guys want to time it? All right, all right, let's do it. Yeah, right, buddy. That's right, you're, you're, you're here, you're here right with me anyway, so I won't, uh, I'm an honest person, so I promise you that. What's, what's in the powders here? Salt and something else? Yeah, salt, pepper. Salt, salt, pepper. Do people like to salt it? Let's try. Maybe interesting. How about maybe we say, man, yeah, that's some moist, uh, moist pies. Definitely put it that way. Nice and drippy. Whew. All right, how about we can start? Maybe we'll save the count of five, four, three, one. Let's go. Mmm. That was like ground beef. Mm -hmm. right. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here trying pie, mash, and liquor. And this was a challenge I definitely wanted to try. Being in the United Kingdom, this is something I was never going to get in North America. And so this was like a cultural culinary experience. Being a basically pot pie with mashed potatoes and kind of a creamy parsley sauce, which they indeed call liquor. <coughs> the vinegar's a nice touch. 
So unfortunately, they actually don't give out t-shirts anymore. I mean, I guess if you beat it, you still get eternal glory. You apparently you're supposed to get your picture still up on the wall of fame, which they do sometimes, but apparently not all the photos make it up there. And the record, which was, I thought, about seven minutes, was actually three minutes and 37 seconds or whatever. Um, I guess the seven minutes was at a different location. They have a sister location in Kent. Um, and so their Instagram post was as per that restaurant. So unfortunately, I had to go very quick. English mustard's good on everything. Last one. So the flavor of the pie was incredibly basic, being literally just tasted like a plain ground beef inside a plain kind of pie shell, although apparently it is two different types of pastry. So the additions of the hot sauce, the vinegar, and the English mustard for myself really added a nice spark to it. Pie's gone. On the mash. These are potatoes. Yeah. How you doing? You alright? How you doing, man? I was watching you on the jollof thing. Yeah. The jollof rice. Is the jollof rice challenge? Mm-hmm. I always tell people to say hello, and hey, that guy did, so appreciate the support of the subscriber there, um, but definitely it was a little hard to talk and multitask with such a short time limit. But yeah, turns out that steak mince is ground beef by at least North American standards. And no, the liquor was not part of the challenge, and they specifically said not to even bother eating it. Is that done? Yeah. All right, and that is done. I think we are, uh, I'll double check, but I think we're about it's less than three, 22 minutes, maybe 40-ish seconds or so. Correction, three minutes, not 240. Three minutes. I misread my, I was timing my camera, I misread it, so three minutes, there you go. 240. Something like that. I'll double check, but I'll tell you what, that was very, 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 very interesting. I really, like, it was cool to taste London to taste south, the south of England. I mean, I guess like a lot of this, you know, kind of goes back to super traditional. They even have like jelly eels here, which again, that's really, really traditional. Like people, you know, be working at the docks and stuff. The pies, to me, it's like ground beef um, in a well pie shell. The top is the has a really kind of firm, firm, firm ridge. Uh, but the, uh, the the rest is super soft, super, super moist. The chili vinegar is a nice addition. It adds, uh, it's not spicy, at least to me. It just adds that like nice tartness, that real kind of vinegar. Um, but yeah, so I'll get the exact time from here. For, I guess we do get the uh, meal, the 16 pound meal for free. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> Compliments to the chef. Compliments. Compliments to all the gentlemen, the lady here as well. They're very, very friendly. And um, enjoying it. Hey, it was. I, I wish I could have take, taken a little longer to enjoy it. You know, it was very delicious. Cause, Good. I mean, it was a little, a little bigger than than uh, the the standard size pie meal here. But but pot. There's gentlemen having pie mash and liquor right behind me. So I uh, guess long it's, history. It's, yeah, long history. Traditional as it can be. Did you grow up? Did you grow up with the food? Not here. No? I grew up in Waterloo and there was one literally about five, six minutes from where I was. It's a black cab driver. Okay. Yeah, you know But like, did you, were you familiar with this food growing up? Like pie mash and liquor? Oh, I only remember it probably about seven or eight. Okay, yeah, yeah. So seven or so. Yeah. A couple of years. A <laughs> couple of years. The gentleman, I promise you, not a day over, we'll say 20. Let's say 20. That's very nice. Yeah. 65. So it, it, why I ask that is, um, so I have some friends here. And uh, so I was talking to them yesterday and they had no idea what pie mash and liquor was. Mm -hmm. And they like grew up here in London the whole time. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, they're, you know, like let's say 30, all around 30 yeah, years yeah. old. And, and none of them had a clue, right? So that's why I was, uh, 
That's why I think it's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've been watching vloggers on yeah. my phone. Okay. Phone, American, Canadian. Yeah. And then a few. Yeah. I've tried it. Not yeah. many, but a few have tried it. And um, I'm not sure they didn't like the eels. And the I eels, yeah. Yeah, I'm not an eel fan. But I, I, is it? A, I've had eel in like Japanese cuisine. Yeah, lovely. But, but so I've, eel. Yeah. But I've never well, had it. Eels lovely. I've never had it like uh, no, jelly. like jelly or stewed. Mm. It looks my, pretty. Uh, mm. It looks pretty different. I'll put it that way. My yeah. dad likes eels, and I've tried one of his, and I'll, that was the only one I've ever tried. Is it fishy? <coughs> what is it? Taste fishy, like? fishy, but very bony. Yeah, a lot of bones in. What but, is like? What, what, what does this like? What does a jelly eel even look like? I'll show you. Okay, well, hey, let's let's have a look at a jelly eel, everybody. <laughs> All right, so the gentleman brought out this jelly eels. And uh, I gotta say, like, um, it's not exactly what I was expecting, nor the presentation. So what, what exactly, what do you got here? Like eel cooked and yeah, so it's been cooked, been boiled, and then put in jelly. So. And what's the jelly from? Jelly Just from the eel? No, gelatin. Fish gelatin, yeah. Gelatin. Yeah. Okay, so you add gelatin mm. to the fish. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And how does somebody normally eat this? Like that. Just like by the spoonful? Yep. Really? You dish out, yeah, dish out portions of it. Really? And they pick up with the spoon, and there's a bone right through the middle, and take the middle out. Wow. Vinegar and pepper? Yep. With vinegar and pepper? Yep. I and mean, then sometimes you can have it cooked. Interesting. Should I, should I, could I try the tiniest little bit? Yeah, I'll give you a bit. Just, just literally the tiniest I'll little bit. I'll give you a bit of that. I'll give you a bit without bone. All right, well, well even with bone, without a bone? Thank you. Take a picture of your face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, don't worry, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna record it. I've, I've eaten some inter. You know what some people consider uh, different foods in my life. So I'm very curious to see uh, see what this one's all about. So we have the jelly deal, everybody. Looking like an eel covered in jelly. <laughs> Not much simpler. I don't think it gets more specific than that. So you recommend salt and pepper? A little bit, a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of vinegar, okay. A bit of pepper, a bit of vinegar. Let's uh, try me some jelly eels, everybody. Look at this, we're getting a cultural experience today. Well, let's see what it's all about. I mean, it smells like, well, it smells the pepper and the vinegar. It doesn't smell bad. All right, here we go, guys. Eels. All right. Um, you know, I'm to try and work there, Fishy. Honestly, it doesn't have much of a flavor. It just like kind of tastes a little fishy. The vinaigrette's a nice addition. So there you go, guys. Let me know if you ever tried jellied eels and what you thought of them. Comment down below. The gentleman behind me didn't really enjoy it himself. So that being said, everybody. Till next time. Huge thanks over here, Flow, Flow Pie Match, and uh, that's about it. So till next time. Say happy, hungry. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely life. South London. UK? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Got a little bit of stomach cake going on. I probably should chew my food a little more. Had to eat it pretty quick, so. Till next time, buddy. Goodbye. Right. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.